Hey guys, Andy the Kenworth guy here. I'm gonna be taking a quick intermission from my usual videos. I'm actually out at the lake here right now, uh, but I got a truck that's ready. And so I gotta drive back into the city and show it to you guys and deliver it to my customer. So stick around, we'll uh, see you here in a second. All right, we made her, made her down from the lake. So here she is. Wow, this truck is beautiful. This is uh, legendary red, one of my favorite color reds, and I just love that sparkle on there. And you know what? The sun decided to cooperate for us here today. Got a beautiful sunny day to uh, welcome you guys back to the channel. Uh, so this paint or, or uh, design, this vinyl design on the side here has a little bit of a backstory. So my dad sold uh, this customer, Myron Bean. And again, uh, a big thank you to Myron for purchasing this truck, being patient to wait for it to come in. Uh, but back in the day, there was uh, two W900s that my dad sold Myron and uh, had this paint design on it with a little bit different uh, kind of flare to it but a white truck and uh, the white stripe on top was red actually I'll throw a picture of it here from back in the day and he wanted to have this put onto this truck so uh, I drew it out and kind of come up with a few different layouts and color designs and that's what we come up with so uh, looks really good and the funny thing is is back when I first started in 2005 I sold his uh, his trade-in uh, that had this paint design. So I was like, oh, I know that paint design. I sold that truck used and I looked into it and turns out it was uh, one of the trucks that I sold back when I started. So it's kind of full circle, kind of neat. But anyways, uh, enough about that. Let's uh, talk about this truck. So this is a 2024 W990. It is a uh, 265 inch wheelbase. Uh, looking up at the front here, we got that Texas bumper and we got the mirrors mounted up on the hood uh, obviously the color is that legendary red we did a factory visor and we got the air horns up top dual exhaust we got a wide track front axle the 13,200 pound wide track and uh, coming down the side here 
We have the battery box with the diamond plate painted end caps. We got the polished uh, closure panel there, it's standard. We got the engine heater, oil, fuel, water separator, and shore power because this truck does come equipped with a factory installed inverter. Uh, we got your def tank right here with the polished cover. Down below is the boost terminals for the, sorry, the uh, battery disconnect switch. I'm still in holiday mode, don't uh, quite have my wits about me yet. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, and then we got your fuel tank here with the seven inch straps, everything's all polished up nice. On the back wall, we have this condenser, and obviously that is for the Kenworth Idle Management System, the Kim system. Then we have the exhaust port there for the SPAR heater in the bunk. Cab access steps here to the uh, deck plate, and then we got three feet of decking. And then uh, driveline is the Dana Spicer SPL. You can kind of see that little accordion style piece over the uh, slip joint. That just uh, keeps everything nice and uh, lubricated for life. Put on some cool class eight fenders, just the stainless steel ribbed uh, style half fenders on here. And we got the uh, polished rims. These are the mirror polish, so uh, they shine up really, really nice. We've got the Kenworth eight bag air ride supporting the 46,000 pound rear ends on this truck. Uh, gearing on this truck is a 370 ratio. And uh, we got disc brakes on it all the way around, so you can kind of see down there, we got the disc brakes. Here's the larger fuel tank, so that's a 150 gallon fuel tank, polished straps, polished, uh, polished tank itself. And then this bad boy, that is the batteries that house the Kim's batteries in there. So that's for the uh, air conditioning unit. So we have the diamond plate cover, and then the polished end caps, which is how they do that with the DPF. Uh, the, the canister on the side there, the, the hot exhaust would just basically peel the paint off there otherwise. So uh, as far as the bunk, this is a 76 inch. We will go inside and I'll show you that in a moment. But uh, let me just open up this hood first and show you what's underneath this bad boy, this beast. There we go. All right, so under the hood, we have the Cummins Performance Series. This is the 565 1850 torque reading Cummins engine. Really good workhorse. Uh, this truck will be pulling a livestock trailer, so doing, uh, doing some decent loads. Uh, now down here, we have the boost terminals, remote lube terminal. We got the fuel water separator right there. Uh, engine oil check. We got your power steering. We got your engine oil fill right over there your washer fluid and your coolant is up above. And uh, on the back wall here, the firewall, we have all your fuses and relays, all the uh, power going into the cab, all the airlines terminating at the cab, and then switches going in from there. Uh, here's a hydraulic fluid for the air assist hydraulic clutch. And uh, yeah, that's a little bit about that side. Let's uh, run around and show you the other side. Hot side, we got your turbo, the alternator, all the accessories up front. On the back here, we have your HVAC system. Uh, easy to change that filter. I've showed this a hundred times. Uh, so you just pop that back and then you got your filters. We have the main filter and the secondary filter right in here. So that's uh, just a higher micron filter just to kind of get all that extra dust out of uh, on dusty roads or gravel or something like that. So it just keeps your cab a lot cleaner. So. Let's uh, close up this hood and I'll show you the rest of this truck on the inside. All right, so let's take a look inside. So with this truck, we have uh, keyless entry and then you have this uh, button right down there. That's to do your exterior light test. And the truck also comes with that right there to standard. So you can reach out from outside. We have your interior lights, your brightness adjustment. There's the work lights on the back. And then we have a switch for pre-wire for beacons if to be installed later. On the door panel here, we have your door locks, your window lift controls, your mirror controls, your heated mirrors, uh, nice big handle to grab onto when getting in and out of the truck. Uh, on the steering wheel here, we have the beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel and uh, we have your cruise right here. 
on off, resume set. And then this is for your waypoints. So as you're going from one waypoint to the next, you can just tap the buttons there and uh, that will just give you additional waypoints. So as you can see there, the waypoint in the bottom here is 596 kilometers so far. Uh, right over here, we have your radio controls. So this is your uh, hang up and your answer for your phone source on the radio. And this is here to adjust your display. So if you want to, uh, you know, flip this back and forth, you can kind of go between your different uh, menus. And then this is your volume and your mute control right there. Jakes are right here. And then uh, over here, we have your power, your uh, trailer brake, your engine fan, air traction control. This is to turn off the uh, backup alarm. So this is just an override switch to shut that off. Couple spares. We have the regen switch, air suspension dump, your power divider, front diff, rear diff, PTO switch, and fifth wheel slide right there. Uh, up above here, we have your radio controls uh, all there. So you can also answer the phone from there once it's paired through Bluetooth. Two USB plugs, your HVAC system right over here, a couple gauges, a few more switches for inside the cab, inside the bunk, and then your exterior lights right there. So this is the Vantage interior. So we have that uh, nice stitching on the door panel right down below. And then we have the gray interior. Can't really tell with these glasses on, uh, but yeah, it's the uh, gray interior. And then we have your uh, kit for the CB radio. Uh, as far as on this side here, I'll just kick my shoes off and I'll show you in the bunk. Before we do, uh, we have the 18 speed manual transmission right there. So in this bunk here, we have a upper bunk up top, easy to drop that down. You just pull on that switch, drops down nice and smooth. You can push that back up. Same thing with the bottom bunk. There's a little switch on underneath here. You just flick that and then it opens up. So underneath here, here's the HVAC system for the truck when it's running. Here's the factory S-Bar heater. There is the Kim's air conditioning unit. And in the back there, that is the inverter. There's a plug right over there on the inverter. There's two more plugs, one up here, one down below. Let me just turn this light on. You can see a little bit better. So there's that. And uh, we'll just close this up for a second. Show you the back area here. So this here is the Kim system right up here. So to turn it on, you just hold that down. You adjust your temperature, your different modes right there for fan speed, etc. Uh, there is the eight, the inverter to turn that on, your fridge to turn that on. You got a 12 volt and then you got a USB charger. There's your HVAC for when the truck is running. And then there is the uh, bunk light. You have a night light and then a door lock and an alarm clock back here with the radio control so you can turn on the truck radio from the back, which is really nice. Okay, so while sitting down here, you can see up here, uh, we have this beautiful, huge shelf here. So lots of storage up here. And then there's also some pockets on the side. And then there is a little mirror and then two more storage pockets down below. The fridge is a drawer style, so it just pulls right out. So lots of access and then right here is the freezer, which is optional. You can remove this just by pulling out this little clip and then this whole thing would slide out. Down below is another drawer, so nice and deep. And then this table here swivels around. So you just hit that little latch underneath right here, pull it towards the end and then the table will swivel like so. So now it's out of the way. And then you have access to these drawers here and here. So lots of lots of space to keep lots of stuff in this truck. So uh, last thing I wanna show you guys before I let you go is the swivel seat. So that swivel seat is a really nice option. I'll show you how that all works here. So first of all, you gotta make sure there's air in the seat. So if you have this button depressed, you want to uh, make sure that it's, it's up and then you have some air in the seat. You wanna slide the seat all the way forward and then just kick it back about three or four inches. Flip this little lever over 
and then she'll slide right around nice and easy. And then you can also kick it back and then do the old recline. Kick back and, and relax just like so. And speaking of relaxing, like I said earlier in the video, I'm currently on holiday, so I'm gonna get back to doing some relaxing. I'm gonna hand the keys to my customer and zip back out to uh, relax with my family. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet uh, and you're interested in doing that, you like this type of content, please do that. Just click the link in the bottom. And uh, if you wanna check out my website with all other social media links or other ways to contact me, you can just click up here to thekenworthguy.com. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Thanks again, Myron, for purchasing this truck. And thank you, the viewer, for watching. Have yourself the world's best day.